the Friends of McLeod Plantation hosts its annual spring celebration coming up next month. Rick a little along with Charlie Morrison joining us with the exciting details. Uh, tell us about this event and then we'll get into what exactly McLeod Plantation is all about and why you guys are involved with it. But first start off with the event. Well, part of our mandate as a uh, 5013C uh, nonprofit organization is to hold events at uh, McLeod Plantation. Our spring event will be uh, open to the public, uh, held this uh, April. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, tell what all is going to go ahead. Yeah, we're going to have a big event. Uh, obviously, the purpose of our organization is to support uh, McLeod Plantation before sure. and after the Charleston County Parks and Recreation Commission purchased the property. Uh -huh. So this is an opportunity for us to have our members and non-members alike out to mm -hmm. enjoy the beautiful live oaks and Spanish moss and McLeod. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the anointed voices of praise from Mount Zion uh, okay. AMC Church up in uh -huh. uh, AME Church up in uh, Goose Creek. Okay. We're going to have barbecue, Frogmore stew from uh, Coastal Caterers. Gotta love that. Going to have cold drinks. Uh huh. Going to have a, a silent auction, mm -hmm. and we're going to even offer tours of uh, of the McLeod Plantation grounds. Mm -hmm for everybody to come out and check out the grounds if they haven't been out there. So You know, the Friends of McLeod have been on the show a couple of times, but those that are not watching might not know exactly where McLeod Plantation is. It's not a huge plantation, sure. but it's very centrally located. Sure, yeah. sure it is. It's, we think it's a, a, a jewel not only of James Island and of Charleston, but yeah. of the low country. I mean, it's a unique place, and it's a place we feel everybody needs to see at least once. Uh -huh. So with, with this fundraising, you guys, uh, you were saying just a few moments ago, that, that just, just a few years ago, there was somebody that wanted to go in and basically tear everything down and make a big development there. It was slated to be developed uh, uh, by the uh, College of the Building Arts, but the Friends of, uh, of McLeod gathered together and uh, put a stop to that. It's now in the hands of the Park and Recreation Commission, mm -hmm. open to the public, and uh, we're quite proud of that. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have as many people come out as possible. You were asking where it is. Uh, uh, McLeod Plantation is right at the foot of the Waku Cut Bridge yeah. as you come on to James Island. Yeah. Uh, just take a left there on Country Club Road and uh, you'll see the, uh, uh, the big buildings and the slave cabins that are Absolutely. still intact. Absolutely. And the event is taking place there April the 7th. That's right. right. Yeah. And what are the times of the event? It's 5 to 8 p.m. 5 to 8 p.m. And lots of stuff going on. Lots of good uh, music as well as uh, good food and silent auction as well. It's going to be a wonderful thing. And the thing we're excited about is to show off some of the work we've been doing as the Friends of McLeod Group. Uh -huh that the Charleston County Parks and Recreation Commission hasn't been able to do, such yeah. as the Luttrell Briggs uh, Memorial Garden. Uh -huh. uh, Rick can tell you a little bit more about that. Well, we're, we're out of time, but the folks can come and see what you guys are doing, and you can explain more to them right there. Sure. If they can't come, you can always write a nice check to help out with the restorations. PrinceMcLeod.org, yes, Absolutely. Sir. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. We're back in just a moment.